All right, dive right in. Another episode of Stand Tall is February 29th, leap year and such. So extra episode, very exciting. We're in chapter seven, maneuvering verse 32 uh, and 33 today. To refrain from intercepting an enemy whose banners are in perfect order. To refrain from attacking an army drawn up in calm and confident array. This is the art of studying circumstances. Verse 33. It is a military axiom not to advance uphill against the enemy, nor to oppose him when he comes downhill. Which I think plays into 32. Study the circumstances, right? Don't, don't fight uphill if the enemy's coming down, or if the enemy has... Um, you know, if the enemy has high ground, don't fight. Study the circumstances. Master Sun says, Avoiding confrontation with orderly ranks and not attacking great formations is mastering adaptation. Ho Yang Chi says to this, This is what earlier was referred to as avoiding the strong. And then... Master Sun says, so the rule for military operations is not to face a high hill and not to oppose those with their backs to a hill. Dumu says that this means when opponents are on high ground, you shouldn't attack upward, and when they are charging downward, you should not oppose them. Right? So don't don't go against the wind. Don't go against the wind. Don't fight when they have the advantage of high ground. Or whatever advantage, right? High ground's a metaphor for something that gives them strength over where you're at. Okay. <laughs> February 29th. <clears throat> and this is what I was talking about when we were going to do something special yesterday. We're going to read out of The uh, the Daily Dad by Ryan Holiday. Uh, February 28th. I read this one yesterday and then um, l- looked ahead at February 29th. And so... I thought it was uh, thought it was going to be a good one, but I do want to just briefly touch on February twenty eighth. It says, "Love is not a victory march." And the quote from Marcus Aurelius: "Life is warfare and a journey far from home." And I think that really just ties in well to why we're reading the Art of War, because it's not just about defending your home, defending yourself against warring enemies, right? The metaphor for our emotions, or maybe our employees. Not that there are enemies, but that they're you know, they have their own motives, their differing motives, right? So I like that one, but we're going to read February 29th. Take the second chances when you get them. You didn't exactly jump out of bed with joy when your daughter came running in at 5 a.m. to play. You didn't give your teenage son much of an opportunity to explain himself about his grades. You were distracted at dinner, checking your phone constantly. There's no way around it. You screwed up. You weren't your best. No way to change that, but the one thing that parenting is is that it gives you second chances. It gives you a lot of leap days. Kids forget. They need you for something else. There are lots of tough conversations. Dinner happens every night. While you cannot undo what has been done, you can choose to take the second chances as they come. You can will yourself to play, even though you're exhausted. You can stop yourself from getting upset this time, reminding yourself that you love the boy and that he's still figuring things out. You can put the phone in a drawer and actually be there for a family meal. We don't get to do this forever. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. Today is a gift, a fluke, especially on a leap year, right? We've had an extra day today. How did we use it? That's why each interaction we have with our kids matters. Why we can't take it for granted. Still, we're not going to get it right every time. So when we're lucky enough to get another go, we better take advantage of it. We better try harder. We better show up. How many times have we heard that 90% of the battle is just showing up? Just getting there. Just making it, right? Choosing the circumstances. Are you going to fight the uphill battles or are you going to put the phone down at dinner? Right? And I love it. Put your family first. Work, family, scene, pick two. March. All right, so we'll be going into March soon. Very exciting. So how does that tie in to picking your battles, uphill fights, you know, does the enemy have the back to the hill? How are we going to proceed? Well, just like with the teenage son or your daughter waking you up super early, or you checking your phone at dinner, you're going to have failures just like in war. And not every time you're going to get a second chance, you're not going to get an extra day. 
especially when it's life and death. But we can take it to mean that learn from our mistakes. This is the art of studying circumstances. If we've made a mistake in the past, if we've looked at our phone at dinner and we weren't present because work is pressing or whatever it may be, just know that we can get a second chance and that we can make it right the next time.